Okay, so another E39 video from me. Uh, but this is one of the more unique specimens of this car in Malaysia. And uh, this particular example is finding a new home. And this is one of the most meticulously built and cared for examples of the E39 that you will find in Malaysia. I know this for a fact because the guy who built this car is my trusted mechanic. Yeah, so he's finding a new home for this car. And uh, well, whilst it won't come cheap, this car won't come cheap, but I can assure you it is well worth the money. So this car began life as a 528i with a 2.8 liter engine but uh, Syed has uh, upgraded this done a full conversion and turned this into a 530i with the 3 liter m54 engine producing 231 horsepower now Syed knows his e39s so everything in this car is properly good stuff okay the headlights the grill number plate even has the sapura auto holder sapura auto is one of the old former bmw dealers that are no longer in the business but yeah very classic okay so now these 19 inch wheels and what i told these brakes pretty special stuff he took these brakes off an E92 335i. Yeah, so awesome stopping power. Okay, the body is this car has done also done a full M Sport conversion, M Sport bumpers, right? M Sport side mirrors as well. So these side mirrors, they have see the shape of these side mirrors, right? With this slightly rounded edge, indicate that. They have power folding. This car also have a sunroof, okay, and has been painted Oxford green by my good friend Dinesh of PDL Auto Works. And side has also in, uh, put in a reverse camera in there, okay. Now this car began life as a pre facelift five to eight i. This is the facelifted tail lights and the sign of a good conversion is that the lights actually fit the body with a consistent shut line you see when bmw went from the pre-facelift to the facelift e39 the rear tail light housing actually changed a bit so owners who do a less than proper conversion of the tail lights usually uh, this gap uh, will larry a bit one will larry now let me open the boot and show you okay you see right here inside the body right okay you can notice that even the metal here they have to do some modification to the body there has to be some cutting and also some beating of the metal work. So this is this is slightly beaten, just so that the tail lights will fit and flush nicely into the boot. Okay, let me just show you from the left side. So you see the shut line here. Okay, is consistent, and it has to be because if this is not done properly, what will happen is that water will leak into the boot okay and let's just show you underneath here okay it's clean okay no sign of water leaking under the boot granted this car is freshly repainted and you can see uh what happened i know the exact process where this car is repainted all right what happened was that side stripped the car to bare bones as in like engine ex interior everything he just shipped the kosong shell to be repainted by pdl auto works so you can see even inside here everything all is repainted 
And if you, if you, even if you book up the seats, if you book up the carpet inside, you would see that it's all painted in matching Oxford green as well. Now oh, look at this, my God. This is what makes this car looks and feel truly special. Look at the door card, my God. Look at this. This is all ori original BMW, okay? Now, why is it, why is it you know, different than most e 39 you see? Because side here transplanted a BMW individual interior set. My, my. So there's a bit of wear here, but overall the condition, it looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, a common flaw in most E39s is that this, this tray here is cracked. It's okay, this one here a bit sticky, but it's quite easily replaced. Okay, so the seats here. Okay. The headlights, headliner. Okay, so you see headliner. Okay, there needs to be touched up a bit. All right. Let's show you the front. Okay. So I will show you first the door card. Oh my God, I just love this interior color combo, man. All right, whoever that buys this car is gonna be so, so lucky. And check this out. Okay, so, now, uh, E39 door cards, right, are slightly different between M Sport and non M Sport. Okay, in the M Sport door card, this lid here is angled. And look at this. It has a built-in coin holder way. Eh? My god. I think I want to if nobody's looking, I'm gonna chill up this for my car. Okay? But here's the trick, the party piece of this. It's a manual. Five speed manual E39 530i. Okay, so you can see from the seats, right? High spec seats. Alright. So you see, even with power steering. Okay. The seats, power headrest, full adjustment. Okay, these seats needs to be, what lah? These seats need to, you can touch up a bit. Okay, even bolster adjustment. Very, very high spec car. Very high spec car. Look at the steering. Look at this steering, my god. This steering, this M Sport steering itself is highly sought after, but this one with the two-tone combo, oh yo, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this is a very common conversion for amongst E39 owners, the Extron touchscreen. This one, I had this same setup with my 525i last time, if you remember, so, He's got a reverse camera. He's got a reverse camera installed and not only that, you even have front camera as well. Okay, so look at this. This tray here in most E39s melted away. This one, okay, it's present. Uh, look at this five-speed manual. Really looking forward to drive this. Okay, all this is intact. And this one, now, the thing with E39 center console is this. If you see them with this slot here in the middle, okay, this is fixed. Cannot be, oh, you can slide forward, but there's no box in there. So in my car, this is a lid which you can open. But here in this, this used to be where a phone slot is. Well, this is fixed. All right, so we've got sunroof as well. All right, beautiful condition car, man. This is a stunning, stunning car. Now, let's check out the engine bay. This is the three liter M54 engine. The best engine combo, 
the best engine to fit the E39. Okay, and it is in this car and it is paired with a five-speed manual transmission. Okay, and your chance now to own this because uh, Sai is finding this a new home. Well, to raise funds for his next project. Okay, so this car is going to a, a lucky new home. So you can see here once again, all this, okay, all nicely painted inside. And then check out the chassis number. Okay, see this? WBA. When you see W on the chassis code, on the wind number, it means that this is a CBU car made in Germany. A CKD car like mine, the chassis number would have started with PM1. Okay, that was that's the official chassis, uh, chassis designation for for locally assembled BMWs in Malaysia. WBA would be CBU Germany, and WBS would be an actual M car. Okay, just to show you here, this is a locally assembled F10 528i chassis code PM1. Okay, that one. W B A. So yeah, why this car is special? Okay, three liter, three liter engine. All right. Oh, yes, it's converted. It's not original. Three liter engine. Okay, full fully respray, full BMW individual interior plus, it's a manual. Okay, so you won't get an M5 aside, you won't get an E39 with a more alluring spec than what you're seeing here. Ever since I sold the Waja, I haven't had much opportunities getting behind the wheel of a manual car. So every time I get to drive one, I always appreciate it. And especially an E39, oh my God. Oh, this is... This is really the perfect setup. Perfect setup for the E39. Smooth revving six cylinder engine, slick shifting five speed manual. All right, so coming up to a bend, brakes, downshift. Oh, lovely, lovely. Downshift two. My God, ah, oh. yeah, the, the 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 shifting action is 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 lovely. Nice short throw, precise. Really, really reminds me in some way of my old Waja. Ah, oh. damn. Yeah, back when I was E39 shopping, I I almost bought a five. There was one of the cars that I looked at and shortlisted was a 530i manual. Now, yeah, there's a part of me that I that wish I had pulled the trigger on that car. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I love this. I mean, I enjoy driving my E39 regularly, but this one, my oh, oh, look at the way that oh, you've got to feel this way. You have got to feel this. Oh my God. Okay, now this car has a few minor cosmetic blemishes, you know, on the upholstery and all that. These are easily cleaned up, but mechanically, oh. This car is is sensational and it is it is so ready and raring to go. And it has more than enough pace to keep up with 
with many modern cars. Remember, the M54 3-liter engine has 230 horsepower, 310 newton meters of torque, so it's got plenty of punch. And because it's a manual, all that torque goes to the wheels with very, very little loss. So mechanically, I, I'm willing to, to bet my reputation on the line. This is definitely not only one of the rarest spec E39 in Malaysia, one of the best sorted unit you will find. You buy this car, close eye, no need to fix anything, right? And because of its rarity, because of its uniqueness, this car will command anytime a premium or any other E39 that's not an M5 or a V8. Oh my God, it's everything, the controls, everything is just so crisp. Oh my God. I mean, whoever of you is watching this video, you guys, you guys better snap this up, man. Better snap this up. In fact, this is a second chance because the first owner, the first prospective buyer who pulled the trigger on this car was stopped by his wife, right? So his loss is your gain. So don't waste this opportunity. And people say, you know, well, driving manual car in traffic jam. Okay, now granted, I'm a bit older now, but back then, 13 years owning the Waja in traffic jam, not an issue for me at all, okay? Uh, and I, I would say this, the clutch on this E39 is, is actually much lighter than the clutch on my Waja, right? And driving manual in, in traffic jam actually is not as stressful as what a lot of people think, but granted, it can be tiring, it can be tiring, especially now that I'm also accustomed to things like not only automatic transmission, but you know, uh, adaptive cruise control line, and all that, where basically you don't even need to foot on the brakes, eh? you just let the car do the driving and that's it, right? Hold the steering wheel, that's it. So, but, but this guy, my God, this, uh, driving this really is, uh, is a sense of occasion, right? It's a sense of occasion. And, you'll be surprised at the fun you can get. What a lovely car. Lovely, lovely car.